Living in Fayetteville, Arkansas can be super exciting. Today we're covering what is a day in the life of me actually living in Fayetteville, Arkansas. What do I do day to day, coffee shops to visit, things to do, all the different fun things in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in North East Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I'm actually a relo from Chicagoland. I was a broker up there since 2008, 2009. Great times. Came from Chicago, the worst place in the Mer America, that is for sure. Anyways, I could have moved to anywhere I wanted to in America. I could have moved to Asheville. I could have moved to uh, Huntsville. I could have moved to Golden and, and Boulder. I could have moved to Boise. I went to all those places to check them out. And I decided that North of Arkansas is by far the best place to live in America. By far. If you ever want to talk about why I chose North of Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, let's meet up for coffee. Let's talk on the phone. Let's do a Zoom. Whatever you want to do, let's talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else in America. But without further ado, let's jump right into the content. Oh! Right, and the first place you're often going to catch me in Fayetteville, Arkansas is actually at Basecamp Coffee on College Drive. Now, College Drive is also known as Business 71. It's a really cool coffee shop located kind of on the main section, right on the outskirts of downtown Fayetteville. The reason I like, honestly, I like Basecamp the most, not only does it have great coffee, but the proximity is nice as well. And they do have this kind of indoor-outdoor scene style, like they have a back style where you can sit outdoors if it's kind of that mid-temperature kind of feel, and also the indoors. The indoors is really spacious. They have games there. Plus their whole, I would say, menu is quite diverse. It's not necessarily just, just coffee. They have uh, snacks and the whole kin caboodle there when it comes to coffee shop. But a lot of times you'll catch and meet people there that are in business oftentimes or just hanging out. It is kind of like a mixture of like college and also business sense. And there's a lot of space there. And a lot of times when it comes to coffee shops, they don't really encourage hanging out. They don't really have a lot of big spaces. And usually it's like co smaller coffee shops that want to kind of like push you through and like, you know, get you the coffee and get out the door. Obviously the whole drive through thing. They don't actually do drive through at Basecamp Coffee at all. So you have to go in and get the coffee and hang out there. So big encouragement on the hangout side, big encouragement for meeting side, big encouragement for when it comes to both outdoor and indoor seating. And it's kind of on one of the major strips through Fayetteville. So it makes it easy to all right off and then continue on your merry way. So Basecamp Coffee gets a 10 out of 10 of places I would hang out there. And you can catch me there usually at the beginning of my days over at base camp. And the second place you're often going to catch me in Fayetteville, Arkansas, when it comes to the, the a day of the life is the Fayetteville Library. Now, the reason I mention this is because there are obviously unlimited amenities in the Fayetteville Library when it comes to like a green screen room, a recording studio, it comes with a Mac lab, it comes with the 3D printing stuff, a laser, literally a laser lab, a uh, great deli to purchase like at cost food. So if you want just really affordable food, the deli there is fantastic. They have uh, obviously these things called books. Who, what is that? Uh, great views because it says it kind of like the top of Fayetteville, so it overlooks kind of the mountains. Um, so it has a lot of good things going for it, but it's just a cool place to hang out. It's very quiet, hence it's a library. And uh, so really cool place to hang out. And partially, I know so many individuals in North Arkansas, so it's kind of like a way for me to like, like kind of get away and do work. You can kind of have these pods over there and kind of sneak away. So I love the library because it's uh, like kind of a limited resources, good food, and the scenery there is top tier. So if you ever just want to pack up and like walk around for a minute and come back, hang out, you can easily do that. So Fayetteville Library is a great place to work. You can often find me there right around the, in the Fayetteville area. So if you're looking for that kind of work environment, also maybe bring your kids or have a spouse there, bring drop the kids off for uh, events and then go do work. Great place to do that as well. And the third place you'll often catch me in my day-to-day -day life in Fayetteville, Arkansas is actually Old Pine Coffee. Now, of course, you see a trend here with coffee shops and food. I get that. Obviously, I'm in real estate, so a lot of my things evolve around meetings and places and things to go, buzzing around, etc. Old Pine Coffee is my usually my go-to place for meetings in general. A couple different reasons. First reason is that it's really close to 49, so it's easy on-ramp, easy off-ramp. It is, backs up to the trail system, so if you want to go kind of on a walk, or like you say you're, you're tired of sitting indoors, you actually want to go walk with a client or like talk on the phone for a business meeting, easy to walk up and down there. Secondly, they roast their own coffee there, and I'm there for the smells. Love that. They have, again, both really good outdoor and indoor seating. The outdoor seating is actually pretty pristine because they have it all covered, but so you kind of don't have, if you want to sit outside with the laptop, not that I've ever done this, I have no experience in this whatsoever, and the sunlight is not blazing on your screen, so you're kind of like, it doesn't exist. It doesn't happen because they have it covered, so love that. So anyways, if you're looking for that business meeting style, it's easy on, easy off. It's in a like, little bit of a strip mall sort of feel, but it backs up to the trail systems. So if you want to cut that all around feel, Old Pine Coffee is where it's at. And on top of that, coffee, Pretty top tier. 
And the fourth place you'll catch me over in Fayetteville, Arkansas for my day-to-day -day life. Now we're going to move away from meetings and coffee and food. We're going to jump into what do the kids do? What do we do after the work day? Oftentimes I'll bring uh, my kid Jasper over to Altitude uh, Trampoline or like the Locomotion Fun uh, area up there. So that is a combination of like go-karts and water stuff and mini golf plus also the trampoline. Now the reason I do this is because um, if it's going to be toasty outside, probably go to altitude. If it's going to be kind of pretty mild outside, we're going to locomotion. So either one works super well. Locomotion is, but actually both of them are pretty good for like birthday events. You can kind of like get the kids out there, let them jump around for hours and then burn plenty of energy. Probably get a couple of broken bones along the way. Who's counting? But with uh, locomotion, obviously it's definitely more geared towards family events than just like a solo kid going there. So keep that in mind is if you are looking to get the kids in anything. And plus we have Arcadia Retrocade, which is um, on off college. It's like $5 to get in and they have like unlimited uh, arcade games. Love that place as well. So if your kid loves games or just want to like drop them off, not literally drop them off, but drop them off and do some work and let them go to town for all day long for $5, definitely check out uh, Retrocade over on college, off of college in close to downtown Fayetteville. But when it comes to like energy burning stuff, Locomotion, altitude, can't go wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to move down here. Maybe you're looking to check out the area. Maybe you're looking just kind of a guide of what's going on in all of Northeast Arkansas. Download my three day itineraries link below. Maybe you're adventure, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. There are three day itineraries linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them and literally use them when you get down here. And maybe you are looking to move down to Northeast Arkansas and using things like realtor.com, zillow.com or Redfin. Way too slow, notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called instant home updates. Sounds exactly what it is, literally instant home updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Where do you want to move to in Northwest Arkansas? Enter all the information below and make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in Northwest Arkansas. And also every single Friday, I send an email just talking about all the cool things happening in Northwest Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What's going on in Bella Vista? What new businesses are moving here? What new venture capitalists are bringing business here? What's going on in Pinnacle? What's going on in Walmart Amphitheater? What's going on in downtown Rogers? The list goes on and on and on and on. It's actually hard to put so much into a little email every single week. If you want to keep up to with all the cool things happening here, name, email below. The links are all below. If you want to add yourself to that email list, just kind of keep it up all the day with all the cool things happening right here in Northwest Arkansas. But I want you to be aware. I want you to be a little bit aware of this. You will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most important person eventually when you make your way down to Northwest Arkansas. And the fifth place you'll often catch me for my day-to-day -day life in Fayetteville, Arkansas is actually taking a run up Mount Kessler. So I'm definitely more, don't tell anybody this, between you and me, I'm more of a runner than a mountain biker. I know, I know. But the reason being is because in mountain biking it can be a bit, uh, you're gonna get a broken bone at some point. That's just, let's just put it out there. You're gonna break a wrist, you're gonna break a leg, you're gonna break an arm, you're gonna, something's gonna break. In my line of work, I can't really risk all the time breaking things because I drive a lot. So I try to keep all my appendages intact. Um, so running uh, allows me to not have to do that. So regardless, Mount Kessler is more my jam because it's more aggressive like this all over the place. Whereas Mount Centennial is uh, more of like swooshy, uh, nice pathways, more for mountain biking, honestly. But Kessler is definitely more of a grind if you want to get a lot of bit of this and some more interesting pathways, to say the least. So that's where you usually catch me at least between those mountains because there's Mount Sequoia, there's uh, Mount Kessler, there's Centennial Mountain, and there's Lake Weddington. And then we have a couple others that are more lesser known, but regardless also Lake Fayetteville, but usually you, you can catch me on Mount Kessler just because of it's a little more fun environment. And the sixth and final place you'll often catch me in my day-to-day -day, day -day life in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and you're gonna cringe when you hear this. Uh, you can usually, when it comes to groceries, at the end of the day, you can usually either find me at this place called Walmart Neighborhood Store, yes, what shocker and then also the ozark co-op so the walmart neighborhood store you might have these in your local area but they're definitely like only grocery stores obviously by walmart and that's all they have there so the essentials are like medical some uh, paper supplies and then just food so kind of nice because you don't get lost in the superstores obviously and works out super well you can buzz in there buzz out not see a single person you may know and the fact you're not gonna be bombarded with other different things along the whole way. Like I need to get this and this and this, I need new pots and pans, I need a coffee maker. It doesn't exist there. So 
Walmart neighborhood place, you'll often catch me there. Second place is uh, Ozark Co-op. It's probably the best, There's we have Whole Foods here as well, but that's probably the better, like uh, I would say organic leaning store in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It is definitely more higher priced, but they have some really delicious things there. A lot of home cooked meals to say to that, but just things you're not gonna find at Walmart. Things you'd probably find at Whole Foods, but just more unique at Ozark Co-op. So keep that in mind. Love the store, great. They also have a coffee shop there and like an outdoor uh, seating area, beer. It's kind of almost like this combination of like a hangout place, grocery store, coffee shop, the whole thing. So Ozark Co-op, it's a really fun place. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have not been to Northwest Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like that. what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the cool things in Northwest Arkansas. It comes with over a hundred page guide of literally Northwest Arkansas. What the school systems are like, what are the hospitals like, what are the medical things like, all the cities, the populations, the demographics, everything you wanna know about Northwest Arkansas comes in a hundred page guide. Plus it comes with stickers, comes with all sorts of little trinkets, pertaining to North of Arkansas, comes with my brand new, where's it at? Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Comes with my brand new NWA coloring book. Oh, you definitely want the starter pack. Anyways, definitely enter your name, enter your address. Where's this package going to? If you want a starter pack with covering all the things North of Arkansas, enter that name and address below and I ship it right to your, right to your actual home. Box, right to your home. And a little bit of side note, a little bit of cool thing. It does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, and, and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Philip, what is the cost of all this? It is my favorite for the effort. Free! So enter your information below and make sure to get, get the package shipped to you right away. And if you are coming down to Northwest Arkansas, definitely let me know. Definitely give me a heads up. I'll put you on the calendar. We can meet up for coffee. I can give you a $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you next one.